I really believe that this is a unique period in, in human history. The sustainability challenge that we face now is completely unprecedented. Never before were there seven billion of us growing at the rate that we're growing, but the stakes are growing as we do. It's imperative that we understand this life support system and understand what impacts we're having and, and what, 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 how it affects us. When we built the wave glider, the original mission was to listen to whales. And a driving requirement was to have something that wouldn't have an impact on the environment or the animals in the ocean. It had to be silent and it had to be sustainable. We designed it to harvest wave energy for propulsion and use solar power for its other energy needs. We also wanted the wave glider to scale up in numbers. And to be able to do that really cost effectively, it has to be small. So we have a device that's small, scalable, can operate through a large range of environments using no fuel and producing no emissions. It can collect data the whole time. This is unique. It didn't exist before. It doesn't exist otherwise. And it's going to enable all kinds of things. It can provide ocean industries with weather information uh, to keep their personnel safe and protect the environment. Its endurance and real-time availability will enable scientists to conduct groundbreaking oceanographic research at a scale and in a way they simply couldn't previously. Uh, countries will have a new way to protect ecologically critical NPAs against illegal fishing and their exclusive economic zones against incursions. The ocean is such a poorly understood resource, but it's absolutely vital to so many economies. We need to get out there, we need to see what's going on, we need to make sustained observations, we need to monitor the activity. From knowledge will come understanding and a whole wealth of, of economic activity will grow in the decades to come.